everybody. Uh, I'm Blaze with Music Villa uh, here in lovely Bozeman, Montana. And uh, that was uh, a song that was inspired by You Belong to Me by Magic Sam. It is a fun one, and there's some cool rhythmic things going on there, and I want to teach it to you. So we're going to talk a couple ways about how to play that song. And, uh, you know, and then we'll also talk about soloing ideas on that down the road. But anyway, let's give it a shot. Okay, well, let's get these chords going for uh, You Belong to Me. Uh, this is in the key of A. Uh, we're going to do an A7, which is a bluesier version of A. And remember, it's 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to take our first finger on the second fret. We're actually going to bar 4, 3, 2, 1. Do that. And you can hit the open fifth because that's A. So we want to do that. But do not hit this guy. So, okay, uh, we're going to do that. But actually, now we have to put this guy on here to make it a seventh chord. But what you can do is you can go, you know, it's dun 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 dun. So we're going to go, you can go all down strums if you want to start with that. Dun dun dun. But then you want to mute it. Or, this is what I like to do down, up, down. And then I mute it as I'm hitting it down. I'll just do that a few times. So you can try it out. This is something that's a little of a feel thing. Down, up. Remember, beginners, up, you just hit a couple strings. You're always starting five, and uh, my palm is barring it there. But I don't want you to overthink this, and I want you to exaggerate too much. Just try that out. But if not, that works too. So, and then you want to go here on your second finger, because we're trying to be as efficient as possible. On the sixth string, you're going to go open, third fret, open. So it's, I got to do it in speed. So, so zero, three, zero, three, zero. The down strumming is a little clumsier, so it's nice to do that down, up, boom. But that's it right there. That's a cool thing to just mess around with and give you a little rhythm. So there you go, there's A7. Now we're going to do D7, and you might all know this one. First finger there, third string here on the second fret, third finger there. And you're going to strum that open D, and that's a D7. These nice bluesy chords. We're gonna do the same rhythm. Down, up, boom. So, and then we're gonna do our third finger here on the fifth string. Zero, three, zero, three, zero. Just like what we did earlier. So it's. Let that fifth string ring out as you go to the next one. So that's great practice. Try going. Oh, hello. So I did four times with A, two times with D7, back to two times with A. That's the pattern. Practice that. Now, the only thing we got to do now is uh, there's a lot of ways of playing. We got to do an E7 and a D7. I want to keep this simple uh, so all players can enjoy it. So here's D7, D sharp 7, E. Right? So here is E7. If we don't strum, this time we can't strum these three. You can only do the three that we're pressing down on. You can certainly do this. This is another way of doing E7, adding that pinky to the second string. So you can go, the sequence is dun, dun. I'm going to strum and palm mute it. Dun, 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 dun. So it's one, two, three, four, and then D7. One, two, three, four. But I like doing this D E7 too. This is pretty cool. You can go. You have choices. Try them both out. So here we go. I'm going to do the whole thing in a slower speed. So. It's the fourth time. One. 
back to A7. One, two. And then you're going to go to that. You're going to hit this again. Twice. And then you can end it. So we have four A's, two D's, two A's, the turnaround we call that, the little thingamajiggy. and back to two A's. And then you can continue on and keep doing it or end on an A7. The key is A. So okay, real quick, it's kind of fun to, let's just throw in some power chords and do this as a power chord version. Maybe you wanna give it a different rhythm. All you rockers out there. And these ideas can be morphed into different genres and different styles. Uh, but anyway, it's also a great way to, uh, uh, you know, with these chord, different, doing different chords, different versions of these chords will give you soloing ideas down the road. So it's fun to do and it also makes it more dynamic. My buddy's playing this one. Well, maybe I'm going to play this one and have some variation in texture. Maybe I want to do it on a looper. Maybe I want to do it uh, recording. You have different textures. Uh, so anyway, uh, what we're doing. Beginners can just do this, the root note, right? Power chords, root six. This is a power chord. You can add this to get the octave of this, A. This is the one, and this is the five, which is E, and this is A. Or I can do that, whatever you feel like. You can just do this. Come back up to where we were. Use your first finger. Maybe you just need to work on your rhythm. Maybe it's easier to do a single note. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Get it tighter down here. But let's do the power. So there's ideas for you. But here, let's do that in each. We're going to do this. Here's A. Here's D. And then if we bring this guy here, it's E. D. And then two A's. So uh, so we'll uh, let me just do that all slow for you so you can kind of get it. Or, you know, mid medium. Four of these. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. It's kind of nice and easy form. You can really visualize it with these power chords. Maybe I'll mix it up real quick. I hope you enjoyed that, getting a little funky, getting a little soul, getting a little rhythm on that song, You Belong to Me. Um, I love it. It's a fun one. My band plays it. So uh, next time, stay tuned for, uh, we're going to do some soloing ideas and jam a little bit on that song and have a little, even more fun. So uh, hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you down the road.